MCTs are considered by many to be like a silver bullet of ketosis and yes, they are uniquely beneficial in that regard. It's a type of fat that digests faster than other types of fat. So it's almost like a fat that's a carbohydrate in that it digests quickly, can give you a quick boost of energy, but without spiking your insulin. So there's a lot of other benefits people associate with MCT. Some people say they might be good for your brain. Some say they might be good for your gut. Is it true? We have spoken to the very clever biochemist, Michael Mastel, to get to the bottom of this issue and let you know how MCTs could benefit your ketosis, your diet and your training, and what they probably don't do that much for. So let's make you an expert. So really quickly, just so you know what we're talking about, MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. That's a type of fat that is very high in coconut oil. You can also find it in keto focused meal replacements and supplements, or you can take it on its own as a kind of tasteless fat. More often we consume long chain fatty acids. Medium chain fatty acids are so called because they have a carbon tail of six to 12 carbon atoms. That's all the chemistry we're gonna get into here. But it is important to note that because they have a shorter tail, they digest more quickly than most other types of fat. So let's say you wanna try a ketogenic diet. I did a whole video on the pros and cons of it right here, which you can check out. Long story short, you're gonna consume at least 50% of your calories from fat. And the idea is to go so low on carbohydrates that the body switches over to using fat as its primary fuel source instead of carbohydrates. For a lot of people, that process of switching from using your carbs to using fat is not very fun. It can take a few days, maybe over a week. And it's characterized for a lot of folks by like fatigue, moodiness, the same kind of stuff that happens when you're just pretty low on energy. The benefits of MCTs that most people agree on is that MCTs can help you to get into ketosis faster and reduce many of these unpleasant symptoms of going into a ketogenic state. MCTs definitely increase ketones in the blood, so do other fat sources. The benefit is that the um, MCTs do it in kind of like a faster manner. So to draw like a very loose analogy here, you're talking about like digesting, you know, dextrose as a carbohydrate source, as opposed to like a very complicated, like very large, um, like fibrous source of carbohydrate. Your MCT is that like very easily digestible guy. It goes straight to the liver to be made, um, into ketones as you're changing over to that that's where people get that kind of like fog and it seems like that first two or three weeks that the mcts actually are beneficial in like eliminating that and again it's because it's like a faster energy source and that's really where the primary benefit comes in it's worth pointing out though that this may not have the same effect of lifting your energy when you are not in ketosis or in a ketogenic state. In those states, the body is super low on carbohydrates, it's looking for other sources of fuel, it's gonna really like getting some MCTs. Normally though, if you're following a regular diet where you're not in ketosis, the body is using carbohydrates for fuel, so MCTs might not be quite as preferred as an energy source. That said, MCTs do digest very quickly, so if you are looking for a source of fat that does not slow down your digestion, as most fat does, MCTs could be useful. You're not gonna use them as a source of energy if you don't need to, because your body's gonna use that like preferred source of glucose. Um, I would say the benefit to them if you're not in ketosis is that you know fat is gonna slow down digestion. So if you are eating fat with a meal, you're gonna slow down that processing. Um, it kind of serves like a natural like time elap uh, time release. So if you wanted to eat something and you wanted it to digest quickly and you wouldn't want it to slow down, but you also wanted to get fat, then the MCT would be a good addition to that basically. As Mr. Mastel says, this can be especially useful if say you're having a pre-workout meal, you want a source of fat, but you don't want that sort of weighed down heavy feeling that you often get when you're digesting a big hit of fat. So what about all these people saying that MCTs have brain benefits? It's gonna supercharge your cognition. There's not really as much evidence on that as a lot of keto influences would lead you to believe. Nonetheless, there is some research that suggests the increase in ketones could improve some areas of cognition, but there are some caveats. The idea behind that is that ketones in general um, can cross the blood brain barrier. And so, the, the thought process behind that is because it crosses the blood brain barrier that your uh, brain can utilize those ketones as a, a source of energy. And they've actually done some studies where people that have a certain uh, genetic marker that's relevant to Alzheimer's are actually seeing a benefit in like cognitive function and they're having an improvement in kind of like memory 
and learning. A lot of the positive research is on people with Alzheimer's disease, with the theory being that people with this condition, their brains have difficulty using glucose for fuel, but not ketones. On a sort of related note, there's some evidence that it helps cognition among hypoglycemic diabetic patients. And there's also a couple of studies that have found increasing MCTs to improve cognition in frail and elderly people with impaired cognition. Among healthy people with like non-ketogenic states of mind, we don't really have as much evidence that it's a big brain booster as some people might lead you to believe. That's not to say that it definitely doesn't help, but we don't have as much evidence that it's like really good for your cognition. Now, if you're in a ketogenic state or if you're struggling with ketosis, yeah, there's some decent evidence that increasing your ketones might help with your state of mind. But yeah, regular folks who aren't in ketosis, more research is needed. There's one more claim that you might sometimes hear about MCTs and that is that they might improve your gut health. So it's really important to point out that a thriving system of many, many different types of probiotic bacteria in your gut and digestive tract has been linked to a ton of benefits like better nutrient absorption, but also better immunity, lower levels of inflammation, uh, maybe even improved endurance and workout recovery. Now we don't have a ton of data here. There was one pretty interesting study published on pigs though that found that when they were supplementing with MCTs, they experienced improvements in the population of their gut bacteria and improvements in the way they digested and absorbed protein and fiber. And a couple of human studies have found a similar effect. There was one paper published in 2016 in Nutrients, for example, that found that participants improved their energy expenditure and metabolic health because the MCTs appeared to be able to improve their intestinal ecosystem and permeability. But Mr. Mastel is not quite as convinced here. I know that there's a lot of studies on the other side of it with respect to like the effect that carbohydrates have, you know, on the gut. So you know, again, the benefit could be that like sugar, it seems that like sugar seems to have a negative impact on kind of like the microbiome in the gut. So I would say that perhaps it's kind of like the elimination of like the sugars that has that benefit that you're seeing. So maybe like MCTs might help your gut health. And while I am not a doctor, I would probably say that if that's your main reason for taking MCTs, it would be a better idea to like take probiotic bacteria and also eat plenty of fiber, get plenty of sleep and manage your stress. These are more closely linked with improvements in your gut microbiome. That's everything from me on this topic. I want to thank Michael Mastel for coming on and providing his expertise. And if you want to read a full article I wrote here where I get into some areas of research I didn't have quite enough time to discuss in this video, like the possible benefits of MCTs on your workouts, you can check out the link to that article in the description below.